Hey guys, what's up? We are that horror couple. Candy I'm man. Kayla Kaylin Horror Candy and Candyman. Candy what are man. you doing? Candyman. Don't do that. Oh, you dare me to say it five times? No. Dare me to say it five times? No. <laughs> Candyman. We are that horror couple. I'm Kayla Kaylin Har and I'm Robbie Rob James. And don't say his name five times in the mirror. Don't, don't. It it doesn't end well. <laughs> it's very bad. Yes. Bad things happen. But this movie's not bad. No. This movie's good. Yes, and we're here to talk about it today. It was dope. Candyman, a sequel to the horror film Candyman 1992 that returns to the now gentrified Chicago neighborhood where the legend began. Directed by Nia DaCosta, starring Aha Abdul Mateen II, uh, Tayana Paris, Nathan Stewart Jarrett, and Coleman Domingo. Okay, so what do we like about this film? I love the setting, um, how uh, it was in, in like Cabrini Green again. The uh, the look of the apartment complex, right away I'm like, this is awesome. Yes. It, looks, uh, it might even be the same damn place. I don't know, but it looks yes. just like it. I mean, it takes you right back to the Candyman look. I agree. The, the, the atmosphere is so Candyman. Yes. Um. Yeah, that's definitely a positive light. I love that they used um, the character Anthony McCoy as like yes. the star uh, of the movie like he I love that his character fits so well into the story and it like came full circle since he was the baby from the first movie that yeah. Helen saved from the fire and if you look closely he has the burns on his arm from the fire so yes. it totally connects the two films totally ties it in yes and uh, a lot of people were like oh it's kind of a reimagining re it's kind of a remake to me this is a straight up sequel it is a straight, it's a straight up sequel, up sequel mm -hmm. and it's a fucking love letter to the original yes. it's, a, it's a tribute to the original mm -hmm. and it's awesome. I love how the story um, from the original movie is mentioned in this and how Helen Lyle Helen. is brought up. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you can actually hear her voice on um, Anthony goes to the university and gets her her um, findings on Candyman and plays the tape recording. And you can, it's actually Virginia Madsen's voice, which is so awesome because I love that, you know, that little cameo in there. There were so many calls back to the first movie. Yes, there yes. really was. And um Basically, my number one like of this film is just the um, how they kept the Candyman legend alive. The Candyman story they kept they they paid so much tribute to the original tale, mm -hmm. and like they, they they paid tribute to it, they respected it, and they added so much more to it to to the point where like the Candyman story can keep going. Yes, they for, expanded on they it. They expanded mm -hmm. on explaining how the, how the Candyman character can go on for generations. Yes, so I I really hope we get more because this director was phenomenal. Yes, Nia DaCosta, the, she directed this movie so beautifully. I would love to see more Candyman sequels from her and just more horror in general from it her. It was so well done, so well shot. It was like just so, like, the music, the, the 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 camera angles, it was just so beautiful, so eerie. Yes. I mean, uh, she has a job now working on Marvel movies, which mm -hmm. I, I want to check out just because it's her. Yeah. But I, I really hope she finds her way back to the horror franchise, maybe to do some more Candyman films for us because, this was fantastic. I agree. So well done. She has a future in horror for sure. Yes. I love also love in the beginning of the movie where we're introduced to like a different story on like Candyman where it was this man named Sherman who he had a hook for a hand and he used to hand out candy to kids and he was basically harmless. But, you know, razor blades ended up coming into kids' candy. He got blamed for that. Yeah, and he it was wasn't blamed. even him. Mm -hmm. It wasn't his fault. He, he was falsely accused mm -hmm. and the cops wound up killing him or something. Yes, and, they uh, they beat him to death. And yeah, so uh basically that yeah, so they gave like a backstory to the candy man that we never saw. Mm -hmm. And then and what I liked is they went they went they also paid tribute to the Candyman sequels because there was also a Candyman two mm -hmm. and a Candyman three mm -hmm. and they went into the character of a. Uh, uh, Robitaille. Daniel Robitaille. Daniel mm -hmm. Robitaille. Mm -hmm. And uh, they explained that whole tale. Mm -hmm. Which, which, so, so as a Candyman fan, like that was awesome. They're just paying tribute to like the whole franchise. And yes. I thought that was awesome. Yes, I agree. The kills were really awesome. Definitely in this awesome movie. kills. Um, they were Candyman style. Yes, with the hook and everything. Oh, dude, like, these were straight out of like 90, these, like, 
just a style of the old candy man this this reminded me of it but it had like the new 2021 upgrades like yes. the gore mm -hmm. and like the art gallery scene was awesome that was awesome with like the slit throat yes slit throat yes this is a spoiler review right? yes it's a spoiler all right review. yeah it's okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> just just everything about this film i liked and everything about this film screamed candy man to mm -hmm. me everything from the score yes to like just visually mm -hmm. cinematography yes and just like the bees i love how they brought back the bees yes again. that was awesome and they, they did it right where at first we just saw one bee that stung anthony like, on the anthony hand, on the yeah. hand. Mm -hmm. and then you know um and yeah it was just it was just amazing everything just screamed candy man the look of this whole film yes i also really love at the end where we get tony todd's cameo as candy man we almost jumped out of our seats we we're so excited i did jump out of my seat yeah <laughs> it was so awesome to see him at the end of the film that that was just that really made the film for us yeah that was awesome just it just tied the whole thing together and it was a total shout out to like the the old school fans yes like, it totally was so agree. so perfectly done i agree so as far as dislikes of the film, we only have really a couple. Um, for one, like I really, it was really tragic what happened to Anthony and, and his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I know that that, you know, that kind of wraps the movie up, but it kind of, it just made it really sad. And, and that made me really sad for him and his girlfriend. Did you feel like it happened out of nowhere? Yeah, kind like, of. I just feel like it was, it just happened all of a sudden to the character. And I was like, it was, it was kind of rushed in the, in the third act. Yeah. And I was like. I feel like the end of this movie felt kind of rushed. It was very rushed. Like, like, the end of the movie doesn't match the pace with the beginning. Yes, I agree. Like, it was, like, 90 to nothing at the end at of the, the movie. At the end, what happens to Anthony, it was just real quick. Mm -hmm. And then the end, and it was just... The ending was kind of uh, rushed. Yeah, it was but very rushed. The ending was awesome. Though. It was awesome, but, but it just felt kind of rushed. I feel like they could have added, like, 15, 20 minutes onto the movie, and it, and it would have made it better paced. That's just our opinion, though. Yeah, I feel like the whole, like... Um, yeah, like the whole downfall of Anthony could have been longer and it, yeah. it would have meant more. Mm -hmm. But uh, that, yeah, but uh, and also I, I feel like Tony Todd was in this movie technically. Mm -hmm. I wish I saw a little more of him. Yes. Rather yeah. than what we saw, we only saw a few seconds of him. Yeah. So I just wish we saw a little more of him, even if they were going to use him for like, like when they were talking about Candyman and flashbacks. Yes. Why not use Tony Todd for that? They should have. Yeah. Like that would have been perfect. Like yeah. when they were talking about the history of Candyman, mm -hmm. that would that would have been awesome. Yeah. Like, so yeah. I, as a fan, I would just like to see a little more Tony. And uh, but other than that, I'm not gonna complain about this film. It was a top notch, top notch film. And uh, what are your final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts: I would have to give this film an eight point five out of ten. Oh wow! Yes, I I loved it. I thought it really, it it just really came full circle for me. It was a great sequel. Um, I just love so many things about it. Yeah, it's an eight for me. I I think eight. Eight. I would okay. have to agree with you. Yeah. Okay. 8, 8.5, it definitely, it definitely, yeah. If you're a Candyman fan, uh, my final thoughts are it was good. It's an 8.5. And if you're a Candyman fan of the 1992 film, there's no way in hell you're gonna you're not going to like this one. Yeah, I and, agree. you know, I really think, like, if you've never seen the Candyman, you don't need to, I mean, you'll still enjoy this movie, but I think you will appreciate the story so much more if you see the original movie first. Yes. I say check out the original movie, then check out this one, and you will be like, oh, because you'll notice all the Easter eggs and all the shout-outs and everything that, everything that they, they did. I think you'll appreciate it so much more mm -hmm. if you just watch this. So watch the original film, and then go check this film out. Yes, I agree. Yes, and it's good. It's like an 8, eight I give it 8, 8.5. So. Yes, I agree. So if you've seen Candyman, uh, comment down below. Let us know your thoughts, what you thought of the film. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to our channel for more awesome horror content and reviews. Once again, I'm oh. Kayla Kaylin Har, and... I'm Robbie Rob James. And don't say his name in the mirror. Reminding you, subscribe to our channel and be our victim. Hey guys, what's up? We are that hard couple. I'm um, Kayla Kaylin Hart and. What are you doing? Candyman. Don't do that. Oh, you dare me to say it five times? No. Dare me to say it five times? No.